Hey everybody, welcome to part 3 in our series on making a custom ribbon in Microsoft Access. In this video we're going to discuss how to use the built-in images that Microsoft has built into Office in our ribbons. Images can give your ribbon a professional appearance as well as give an indication of the function provided by the control. When we wanted to specify a built-in control on our ribbon, the way we did that was we used the IDMSO attribute. When we want to specify a built-in image, we use the image MSO attribute. Now in part two I said that order matters within the XML. And that's true when we're talking about tags. So this group would be left of this group and left of that group, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. But within a controls tag, the individual attributes can be in any order we want. So we can just stick this image MSO anywhere we want between here and the closing tag. So how do we find the string or the name of each image? Well, Microsoft provides us with some documents for that. Microsoft has provided an Excel spreadsheet for the 2007 images and a Word document for the 2010 and 2013 images. I'll put a link to both in the description below the video. So we'll take a quick look at each because they're both a little bit different. In, this, in the spreadsheet for 2007, you need to go to the Developer tab. And you can see here that they have some instructions here on the spreadsheet itself on what to do. You need to make sure your Developer tab is visible. You go to it, and Gallery 1, 2, and 3 hold the large images. All right. Galleries 4 through 9 hold the small images. And you can tell visually, you see these, are lar these images are larger than these images. The way you get the name from one of these you'll want is you hover your mouse over it and then the name appears there at the very top. So the game we play here is we search through these images and try to find something that appears to represent whatever functionality we're looking for on our ribbon. All right, so let's take a look at the Word document for Office 2010 and 2013. Now Microsoft has not provided a document for 2013. They've told us to use the 2010 version and it will adjust itself based on whatever version of Office you have installed. So in the Word document for 2010, instead of going to the Developer tab, we go to Backstage. And there are two buttons here at the bottom, Image MSO 0 and 1. So I've clicked on Image MSO 0. In these, the small and the large images are mixed together. And again, they are alphabetical by name. It appears to me the way we tell a large from a small image is based on the clarity. These blurry ones are small images and these clear ones are larger images. And this Word document, in my opinion, is more difficult to use. As you can see, the buttons are very large and there are a lot more of them in, this, in the uh, 2007 version. So this one takes a lot longer to search through to find the images you're looking for. And it's also a much wider document. As you can see, it's not fitting on my screen very well here. So the name of the game in using this Word document is Patience. Uh, take a couple deep breaths and uh, just resign yourself to having to scroll through a ton of images to find whatever it is you're looking for. However, in this case, we don't have to hover to get the name. The name is already displayed just like this. So I've chosen a couple images to put on our ribbon, and I want to show uh, a couple things here. On our Home tab, we have all large buttons. Okay, so I've got three large images in a row here, and then I have put a small image on this large button. Notice when you put a small image on a large button, the ribbon tries to expand the image to make it look like it's a large image, and you get this fuzzy appearance here. Notice that there is a minimum width for these large buttons. However, if you put a label that is wider than that minimum width, the ribbon will expand the button to allow the label to fit horizontally. Let's take a look at our maintenance tab where I've got the small images. Now on here I've put a large image on a small button, and you can see that has shrunk uh, and still looks good. And here I've got a small image on a small button, and of course that one just looks just fine. That's the same image we have over here, which has been expanded, and it doesn't look nearly as nice. So that's all there is to using the built-in images on your ribbon. In the next couple of videos, we're going to talk about using custom images, as well as the VBA that we use to interact with the ribbon. As usual, I'll put a link to the XML that we used in this video down below. And hope you got something out of this, and we'll see you next time.